What's up, you guys? guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to a brand new video. I don't know what you're gonna say, so I can't like. I always say the same thing. No, you don't. What's, What's up, guys? guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to a brand, brand new video. video. So, you guys, check this out. Inside today's video, we're kind of gonna be narrating for a quick oh, second. Oh, we got a lot to talk about. A lot happened yesterday. It was very crazy. Yesterday and the day before, because the day before was yep. when the stories happened. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so come with us. We're gonna talk. We're gonna sit down for a second right after we do our intro. Yes. All right, you guys. So, before we jump into today's video, if you guys haven't already, make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Also, also subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, hit the little bell icon down below to get notified every single time we what? Like the video. Juliet, Juliet's so cute. She's literally just sitting there watching us do the intro. And so for those of you who are new to this channel, or at least relatively new, my name's Anisia. My name's Devonte. My name's Juliet. His, His name's Sire. And, and this, this is, is the Life, Life of Us vlog, vlog. Where every day it's more. Where every day it's literally more. For the longest time, I've been trying to find someone like you. But I keep crushing my you guys so um let's talk about the things that we're going to talk about or the things that unfolded okay. these past two days so the past two days um have been a little bit crazy not okay they haven't been crazy yeah. we just we just want to share them with you guys okay so first of all to start off Devonte in our last video had explained to you guys that he had never experienced racism or yeah anything like that like firsthand or yeah. he's never seen it or anything like that he did now. Now yep. he has. And okay. so for those of you who haven't watched our video, like we wrote on the car and it has a lot to do with the car and the area that we we're in. And yeah. like we finally experienced that. And yeah, yeah. so <laughs> we're going to jump in and talk to you guys about that. But before we're, we talk to you guys about that, yesterday, Juliet had her first dentist appointment. Yes. Um, actually, no, it wasn't her first. It was her second. Um, and it was a lot for a four year old. Right, baby? Um, but she's strong and she was a big girl and she did really really good. She actually had to get put to sleep and um, she had one of brown dizzy. Yeah, she was dizzy. She had to get put to sleep and she had to have one of her one of her teeth taken out. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, she's four years old. Yeah. Why does she have one of her teeth? Why is she getting one of her teeth taken out? Like you guys are bad parents. You feeding your kid junk. Like da da da. All this stuff. That's not the case at all, you guys. Um, but either way, we filmed yesterday just a little bit. Although throughout the vlog, we actually stopped filming right when we had explained to you guys that we were going to talk to you guys about the two things that yeah, had happened the, the, the day before. Um, basically, we stopped filming because Juliet was um, not herself after the mouth surgery. And we just wanted to really, really focus on just watching her for the rest of the day um, because there could be side effects and things like that. And we just wanted to make sure that she was okay. So with that being said, uh, this is how her dentist appointment went. Okay. Okay. One, two, two three. three. All right. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a little... A little crazy, a little, a little crazy difficult, kind of. So, do you want to explain? Or? So, basically, right now we are... Go What's up, guys? Um, right now we're going to go into an oral surgeon, and Juliet is going to get one of her tooth teeth pulled. Yeah. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, like, what do you mean? Like, she's super young. Yeah. Basically, something happened, and she got um, an infection. And it wasn't because, like, she wasn't brushing her teeth or... I let her eat a whole bunch of candy or anything like that because I absolutely don't. Um, and she brushes her teeth twice a day, every single day. Um, the doctor even said that she doesn't know what happened. I was just about to say that. She's like, she has, she's a dentist and she has children and she's explained that what's going on with Juliet's tooth that's requiring her tooth to come out. It has happened to one of her children before. And she was just saying that it doesn't matter if they eat a lot of candy or minimal candy. This can all, this can happen. And she doesn't sucks, even know but she doesn't even know what the cause is yeah she, she literally told this i don't know because i tried to ask her i was like wait i don't give her soda i don't give her like candy and stuff yeah. like that i was like so how would this even come about and she was like honestly anything could have caused it like yeah. anything and she was like so yeah so basically that's what ha that's what's happening um she's about to get her tooth pulled how do you feel about that baby i feel good you feel good are you ready uh-huh that's my baby so we actually came last week so that way she could have her consultation and they could tell us you know what our options are in regards to her tooth they told us there is no saving her tooth i don't know why there's no saving her tooth but they need to take it out yeah um which again i'm i am gonna ask them once again because julia is four years old and 
she's basically gonna have to get like anesthesia and everything right now um yeah. if they say like for sure which i think they are gonna say for sure but um i'm just gonna ask again just in case i just yeah. want them to take another it's, look at it it's so scary to say even like the word anesthesia because juliet she's only four years old and like her having to undergo anesthesia to have her tooth taken out it's it's insane, and the reason why she has to have anesthesia is because she's not gonna sit there being like, okay, go ahead, yeah, you know, take my tooth out. So, so we're gonna go in here. Her appointment is right now, and we are going to see what's going to happen. We'll try to update you guys as much as we can along the way, but obviously, I don't think they're gonna let us record it. Yeah, but even then, I'm not even. I don't really want to have the camera like, oh, hey, baby, like you're yeah, asleep. But well, I mean. She's Maybe when she undergoes the process of the anesthesia and then, you know, when she wakes up, we'll kind of like document that. And then afterwards, we will go do what? Get ice cream and Get slurpees. Get ice cream and slurpees. Okay. Yeah, the reason why, I know you guys are probably like, um, she's leaving a dentist. Why would you want to go get her a bunch of sugar? <laughs> um, I know that after this, because I've had my teeth pulled before, um, she's not going to be able to eat regular food for yeah. today. So um, I'm gonna have to get her ice cream. So one thing I do wanna mention really quickly before we go inside, as you guys know, this is what our car looks like right now. Um, you know, Black Lives Matter, everything like that. So basically, some shiz naive happened yesterday. For those of you who live in the Clovis and Fresno area, you guys know that Clovis is predominantly Caucasian people. And a lot of them aren't very nice. And basically, we got some, we always have been getting some stares at the car. So, inside our last video, Devante had mentioned that he had never experienced like racism, like just straight up. And yesterday he did, twice in a row. So, how crazy. do you feel about that? It was that? insane. We're gonna talk to you guys more about the stories. We need to run in there, but it was insane. Like, I felt so I sad. got out of the car. I was cousin. I got real ghetto wow, for the first time in a lot it. of years, honestly. So as you guys seen, we did stop recording the moment that we started talking about, um, you know, the stories. Uh, the reason why we stopped recording was because we wanted to, you know, fully be with Juliet. I really didn't want to walk in there with a huge camera and be like, hey, baby cheese, look at this. Yeah. Although I did get a little bit of footage on my phone, but the reason why I wanted to get that footage was because I just wanted to make sure really nothing went wrong. I wanted to make sure, you know, It was, was honestly, I know that for her, I know it was scary yeah. and for me being her mom like I I literally had to walk out outside of the facility and just cry inside the parking lot because I just I couldn't even explain it just seeing her in that state of not being aware and just she yeah. it wasn't Juliet I'm just unconscious yeah and and it scared me so much and I don't know I so don't know. in order to do the anesthesia they had to put a UV or uh, an uh, what is it? <laughs> so they had to put an IV through Juliet's arm uh, in order to start the process. So these doctors have limited time to work on doing whatever it is that they need to do. This doctor said he only had like, you know, a couple minutes, but we're not aware of that. We're mainly focused and more aware on, you know, her being okay. Uh, when they started the anesthesia, they then told us we need to walk out, but me and Anissa didn't want to walk out. We wanted to stay in there to make sure she, you know, fell under, like, to make sure she fell asleep comfortably and to make sure nothing went wrong. But yeah. the as soon as they did that, the doctor was like, okay, I need you guys to step out. And we're like, can we stay to make sure, you know, she falls asleep comfortably? And he's like, I'm sorry, I can't. I only have a couple minutes to work. No, he so. did not. He was just like, no, you yeah, can't. So, um, okay, but he wasn't like an ass about it. He was so. a little bit of an ass about it. And but I don't care. But he apologized after we came in. He no, was he like, didn't. Yeah, he did. He was like, I'm sorry. Like, I only have a little bit. Of, I only have limited time to be able to work on it. Like, he's seen that, you know, you're frustrated because he couldn't stay. Anyway, so we walked to the lobby or the waiting room. And we, I knew Anissi was frustrated because I asked if she wanted some hand sanitizer on the lobby counter and she was like, what? Like, and I was like, okay, there's hand sanitizer there. Do you want some hand sanitizer? So she got some hand sanitizer. We sat down and a um, couple seconds later she started crying and then, you know, I put my hand over her and she just got up and walked, literally walked out of the entire office. I wanted to- I did, There was other people inside the waiting room and I yeah. know that, I don't know, I just didn't think, I just didn't want them to think like, maybe I, I, I was there for my tooth and I got yeah. hurt or something and that's why I was crying. So I was just like, let me just step out for a second. So I wanted to step out with Anisia, but at the same time I didn't want to because you know, what if they couldn't find us? What if they needed to go in the lobby and say, hey, Julia, yeah, it's done, or there was a complication yeah. that happened. So literally she stepped out 30, like a minute later, they came in and said, hey, it's done, you know, Julia, she's done. I went in there and she was asleep. 
and I was just like, it literally broke my heart. Like, I got a little bit emotional, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, did everything go fine? He was like, yes, everything went fine. I only had a limited time to be able to work on her. That's why I was like, you know, you guys have to step out. Um, and um, it was just insane. Like, while, while they had called him back there, I was still outside yeah. crying. And one of the ladies at the front desk, um, did you send her to go get me? No, I didn't actually. I, I think she probably seen me crying or something, but she opened up the back door and yeah. I was right there. And she was like, hey, like, um, your daughter's done if you want to come inside. And I was like, yeah. I, I looked at her like, what? Because literally it was, it was, quick. It was, it was so quick. quick. And she was just like, yeah, like, she's done. Your husband's already back there. And I was like, my way. And, I'm and kidding. so, okay, so I want to talk about, because if I was watching this video and me and Anissa, we talked about this because, you know, we're always cautious and aware of what, you know, other people might perceive or get the idea of while watching one of our videos that's kind of, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. And we both agreed to the simple fact that we would both be thinking if we were watching this video like if we were one of you guys, damn, like you guys actually let your child's tooth get to the point where it needed to fall out. Yeah. It's really not like it seems. It wasn't like a normal cavity, like she's yeah. had a cavity for like months and she's been complaining about it. It's, it wasn't like that. Yeah, so basically, I'm not like a strict mom to where like Juliet can't have any candy or any yeah. juice or nothing like that, but I am pretty strict on like soda, um, juices, and, and, and candy and, and anything sweet like that because growing up, um, I did not have the best like, I have nice teeth, but um like cavity wise growing up yeah. i had a lot of cavities i we always went, had i went through it too we both went through it with like tooth pains i remember we were both in the room where i think i was like six and she was five shut <laughs> up why do you always do that <laughs> I mean, it's so funny because you sit there and you're like mm -hmm. Wait, what? i'm like, like yeah <laughs> we were there i grew up with a lot of toothaches and stuff like that and i just don't want juliet to go through something like that and i always brush her teeth she brushes her teeth once in the morning once at night and um the reason why i had took her to the dentist recently was because she's gonna be going she's gonna be starting school soon and you gotta go you know what i'm saying get, get a check checkups up. and stuff like that yeah so when she got her checkup the dentist was basically like um she actually has like uh it basically her gum was really swollen by one of her teeth and she was like that tooth needs to come out and i was like what because like mind you julia is four years old she like it was scary so she was like yeah it has to come out um basically uh, it's infected and blah, blah blah and i was like how how would that happen and, and i was looking at her because I'm like, dude, if mind you, it's my dentist, and I'm like, I know you've had to take some of my teeth out, but I take care of my daughter, and I was like, I, I don't give her that much juice, and and this is not, and she was like, listen, like, um, it could it could have came from anything, uh, something could have punctured it the wrong way, like anything like that, and she was like, but I can't tell you what exactly it came from. She was like, but what I do know is that that tooth has to come out. So I was like, okay. So that's when we scheduled the appointment. Um, we were giving her medication so that way yeah. the swelling can go down. And then that's why she got her tooth taken out. So I just don't want anybody to be yeah. thinking in their head like, damn, damn you really like you guys can't even take care of, of your kid yeah, or exactly. something. You know, it's it's not that at all. Um, but if you still think that, I mean, everyone has a right to their own opinion. So <laughs> Look, we've all had but, cavities. Like it's not, you know. Yeah, but either way, um, she is going to be going back to the dentist uh, yeah. in a couple of weeks. They're going to be putting spacers in her mouth. Um, so that way that little gap doesn't close up and it leaves room for her adult tooth to come in. So, in a couple of years. yeah, the tooth that came out is either a, a I think it's a molar. Yeah, it's a molar because it had that root. It's the tooth that came out it was a molar and her molar is not supposed to come out for another 60 years. So that's why they're gonna put the spacers so that way, you know, her teeth aren't shifting and it'll give room for that molar to continue yeah. to keep on growing. I was talking to one of my family members about it because they, my family knows and sometimes my family gets on me and they tell me like, calm down, like she can have a juice or she mm -hmm. can have this or that. And I'm like, no, because like, I, I just don't like her drinking a lot of like sugary stuff. Um, but I was talking to one of my family members and she had said that maybe it could be something um, on her biological dad's side of the family. Um, maybe like it's maybe their teeth just aren't re aren't very strong. It could be my side of the family. Maybe my, our teeth just aren't very strong, and the little bit of sugar um, can attack the teeth. And the same thing. Her dentist kind of said the same thing. She was like, um, I see that like it's not like you're overfeeding her. And she was like, she's a really good weight for her age mm -hmm. and everything like that. She was like, so I don't think that like, you're overfeeding her or something like that. She was like, it could be just the sugars and whatever sugar that is in whatever she eats. It just attacks her teeth instead of going to make her like fat and chunky so yeah. when you go under anesthesia anesthesia the doctors strictly tell you you cannot eat any solid foods eight hours prior 12. to 12 hours prior to the um you know surgery. the surgery so she hadn't eaten breakfast it was 8 a.m at this time 
So after that we went to McDonald's, we got her some soft pancakes and then we came back over here and then we ate. And then we were kind of just monitoring her throughout the entire day. Um, she was she, really dizzy. Yeah, she came to uh, like completely fully, um, maybe like inside the car when we left she was there, but she was like still like tired. Woozy, she was tired. Yeah. yeah. So it took her maybe... It took her maybe like 30, 45 minutes to, you know, completely fully come to. So right now we're going to have Juliet sit down and kind of like talk to you guys about like her experience and how she's felt or how she felt about everything that happened. Oh my god. Okay, so how are you feeling? Got them ledges aid, lead. Ledges aid. Got them ledges aid. What was it like for you yesterday? Yeah. I'm um, okay. Good? Mm -hmm. Were you scared? Yeah. A little yeah, bit? A little bit. How's your tooth feeling right now? Do you remember falling asleep at the dentist? Yeah, I was really crazy about the, taking my tooth out. You were crazy about it? Yeah. Do, do you remember them going in there and taking it out or no? No, I, I only feel the dentist's um, hand was she's going to pull out my teeth. Only I felt that way. You did? You felt yeah. that? Yeah. Do you remember when they put something in your arm it's yesterday? Like a little shot, like a needle. Yeah, was it bleeding? A little bit. On the camera right now, there's other kids that probably are gonna be ha are gonna have to go to the dentist soon. What do you have to say to those kids? You gotta be healthy so you you don't eat sugar and stuff. You gotta be strong and healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go to the dentist. Don't be scared. Yeah, it, it, it's okay if you cry either. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Remember the dentist told you that it's okay if you cry. It's okay to cry. Right? Yeah, but don't, don't scream because people might hear you scream. <laughs> <laughs> eat your vegetable and I'll eat peaches. Peaches? peaches? <laughs> oh my god. So was the doctor, was anyone mean to you or anything like that? No. Any Tell me, mean. I, I go back right now. Yeah, we get our money back. <laughs> so, with that being said, we want to talk to you guys about, you know, our experience with what had happened. Um, these, this path, it was literally like the day before yesterday. Yeah. So basically, and I just want to say like, there's no one that can tell me racism does not exist, bro. Like I've, I've heard this, I've heard this and I've read it a couple of times these past couple of days of people saying legit, they'll legitimately straight, straight out say racism does not exist. You cannot say racism does not exist, bro. Especially like after this, like yeah. one of the stories, the other story is kind of like, eh, whatever. Okay. So basically you guys have seen our car. Our car obviously contributes to everything else that is going Black on right now in movement. like the Black Lives Matter movement yeah. and everything like that. We were out running errands. Um, Juliet wasn't with us. She was with my sister and we were out running errands and we were on the Clovis. We were deep in Clovis, like Old Town Clovis. Old Town Clovis. Yeah. For those of you who live in the Fresno, Clovis area, you know that Old Town Clovis is very... How can I say... You don't even need to say anything. They know yeah, what you mean. Like. Mm -hmm. So, at least for the most part, it is. I and love driving down there because I know everyone's staying mad as hell. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, go So, ahead. basically, we were driving down there and this guy was crossing the crosswalk. Devante said he was an older Mexican guy. I think he was an older white guy. He had like darker pigmentation. He wasn't like, he wasn't he, like, But he was walking though, so he was probably just red from the sun. So he was crossing the, cro the crosswalk and we were the first car, like right there, um, at a red light. And he was saying something to us and I couldn't hear him because our windows are up because um, we were in the car. I seen him be like, like I knew he said all. And oh. then you, roll, you rolled the window down and I was like, oh, yeah, right. because I, I, cause I know that he was talking to us. So no, was not you rolling the window down, him saying like, oh, I was like, oh, okay. Fucking go. So I rolled the window down because I'm like, what is this guy saying? So I was like, huh? Or I was like, what? And then he was like, all lives matter, yeah. all lives. And I was like, right now, black lives matter. And I was like, um, what did I say to him? And I was like, nobody ever said that all lives didn't matter. And I was like, read the car, black lives matter. And he was like, um, what was he saying? He was, we, me and him started shouting at each other back yeah. and forth. And he was like, all lives matter, something, something, something. And I was like, black lives matter, you're a part of the problem. It like, was crazy because the light turned green and it's crazy because he was already on the other side still saying stuff in the other car. Yeah. They were just sitting there. No one was honking the horn. They yeah, knew we were having, like, you know, they knew him. they knew we were having an altercation. And I love that uh, they, this guy he had his window down. He easily could have been like, oh fuck this, I'm just gonna hear this shit. But yeah. he stayed right there. No one honked the horn. And so they were going back and forth. Yeah. So me and him were just shouting back and forth. And I was like, you're a part of the problem. All lives. I mean, all lives. I was like, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. And he was just like going back and forth. With me finally, Devontae was like, okay, babe. And like, cause like the light turned green, so he started like going up a little and bit. And then he had the. Audacity. He had the audacity 
when I'm when we're about to drive off to say, um, may God forgive you, may may Jesus Christ forgive you, or something like that. I wanted to hop out that damn window so fast. I was like, what the? Oh my God, I got so freaking mad, but I was like, you know what? Whatever, and I just kept going. And me and Anissa had to talk, and we're like, maybe that's why he's walking. Maybe that's why he's in the heat and sun is because God don't like ugly. <laughs> God really does not like ugly, and God really does work in mysterious ways. I'm, I'm not judging, you know, maybe he's going through something that... All I'm saying is, that's just, you know... <laughs> it really... Listen, you guys already know my opinion, okay? So that was that was the first thing. Mind oh, and you, then tell them about the lady that came up behind us. And right after I had yelled, me and that guy were like yelling at each other, this lady had came, she was driving up on the side. She was saying something through her window and I was like, I'm sorry, I what? just looked and I was like, oh my gosh, can we get a, like, not so much can we get a break because we know, like, you know, we can deal with this, but just like, oh my gosh, here we go again, like. Yeah, so then this lady comes up and she's like saying something and I was like, what? And then she was like going like this and I was like, oh, and she was like pointing to the car. So I was like, oh babe, she yeah, wants a yeah. picture of the car. And he was like, oh, okay, okay. So we started to slow down and she was like really, really nice. She lowered down her window, she took a picture and I was like, you get it? And she was like, yeah. and so I was like, okay. So she got her picture. Yeah, so she took a picture and that made me feel better. Oh, and then, oh my gosh, there were these. <gasps> yeah, yeah, the yeah, Tesla, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my so. God, wait, that's so crazy because after both alter altercations, something good happened. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? So there was these, uh, there was these uh, two members of the black community, some brothers. Wait, wait, no, we have to tell them that after. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. Okay, okay. So, so then about an hour goes by. Me and Devonte actually we went to go eat at this place called Weekend Dreams. Was it? Uh, yeah, I think it was Weekend Dreams um, Burgers and. Yeah. So this place on Ashland. In Fresno, California, it's called Weekend Dreams Burgers and Grill. When you pull up, yeah. there's another Weekend Dreams, and that one's pizza and wings. Yeah. But right, so they like, own right, two. Yeah. So right, like if you just walk down the little thing, or if you just look, you could see that there's another Weekend Dreams. It's black owned, black and owned, I, when yeah. I tell you was, that was, was so good, was oh so my good. god, it, it was so freaking good. Me and Devonte sat in there and we ate. It was yeah. super clean. Every, it was amazing. Everything was so good. We were driving down like the Fig Garden area. Yeah. Tell them what happened. So, first and foremost, the reason why we're in Fig Garden area is because we stopped at Pottery Barn to try to find Juliet some, uh, like a comforter set for her bed. Um, we ended up not finding anything. We started driving off and pulled out of the dry, like the parking lot area. And there was traffic, you know, traffic, traffic. Look at my traffic. There's a full memory. Anyway, so we were driving, we are on the right lane. There was this BMW. It was like a blue, like mom type of BMW. Um, and there were these two Caucasian teenagers inside the BMW. So they, were, they I don't want to say they were teenagers, but they were our age. Like they okay, were around yeah, yeah. our age. Yeah. I don't know if they're like 16. But or they something. weren't like older. Yeah, they weren't older. So we were driving by and I wasn't paying attention. So whenever someone honks, I automatically think, oh, okay, they're going along with whatever I have on my car. So they honked their horn. All I heard was a honk and they were on the right. I was driving forward. They honked and then I honked. And then Anisio was like, oh, they just flipped us off. And then so we stopped in traffic and I was like, are you serious? They actually flipped us off? Yeah, so, so as they honked, I turned and I looked because I'm not driving so I could turn. Yeah. So I look and they're they're also pulling out of another plaza like on this side. To get into traffic to, where we were. To come behind us. That's where they were going. They yeah. were either going to come in our lane or come to the lane right next to us to turn this way. They were coming this way, right? So they honked their horn. I look, Devonte keeps driving a little bit, and the one driving goes like this, yeah. like flips us off, and the other one inside the passenger seat is just laughing. So I'm like, babe, they just flipped us off, and Devonte slows down, and he's like, what? If you guys have ever like heard our 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 like road rage story times, you know we do not like we don't put up with that shit regardless. Like so, we kept driving because again we were the first people inside yeah. that lane. So Anicia, she opened the door and she stepped out and she was a little bit. She was like, "Why don't you say that over here? Why don't you say that with the chest?" Because I do truly believe if you're gonna make a broad statement, this is a statement towards you know what I have on my car clearly. In your mind, there are racial thoughts. You're going against, yeah. you know, my belief. On the reason my, why I say car. this is racist, because people can easily be like, wait, that's not racist. Yeah, you off. yeah. The reason no. why I'm saying that I know that this boy was racist is because the first altercation, this guy, you know, was like, oh, no, all lives matter. All lives matter. Yeah. So that's, the, you know, the message he was trying to push because he's ignorant and he doesn't know what he's not educating himself on what's going on right now. So I don't, I, the first guy, I really don't believe that he's racist. I kind of just think that he's just not educated. These guys, 
if they really felt, if they were like flipping us off because they thought like all lives matter, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. If they really thought that, maybe they would have pulled up to the side and been like, yo, all lives matter, your car looks dumb, like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But instead of all that, they flipped off our car that says blasted on the side of it, black lives matter. Okay, so listen. So, if you guys can picture this, picture this in your head, right? There's three lanes, and then there's a straight lane where you drive down if you're going to turn this way, right? So, there's three lanes. There's a lane right here if you're going to drive down that way. We're in this lane. So, I seen that they're pulling out, right? But there were still cars in the three lanes where we were. There were still cars right here, but there weren't any cars right here. Right next to us, there yeah. were no cars. So, I was so, like, come okay, over Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so, I was like, fuck it. Hell no. So, I pulled into this lane. And then, I, because I was going to reverse, I was going to reverse all the way back to them, get out of the car and try to see, you know, what's up, like, what do you, what do you mean, like, so the moment I started to reverse, a car came up behind me, so I was like, fuck, like, okay, like, I can't block off this traffic, I just went up, and so, um, we just had to keep on driving. Yeah, and but then, no, you're not even telling them the full story. So we got up to the front. I hopped out of the car, and they were still trying to. They were still like in that little like driving area with their blinker on. There was a lot of traffic right there. So they were coming down our lane. But once they see me hop out of the car, and I was like, "Come down here, say that shit with your chest. Like, yeah. come over here, like da da da." And they're just staring at me like that yeah. in their window and i was like come and i could see because i had my glasses they on. weren't laughing yeah anything. they weren't they laughing were that wasn't shit funny no more nobody's middle finger was up so i was like come down here bro so i get back in the car and i'm like i can't believe this shit da, da, da. we're still parked right there or, like in the red light and they're still on their thing and i'm like no so i get out of the car again and i'm like bro come down here like i'm really trying to get them to come down here and why did they cut through, through three all different three, lanes. All three lanes to get to the turning lane. See, to make a U-turn. There's, there's three lanes right here where you turn right on the block, and then there's another lane right here where you could either make that turn or you can make a U-turn. So they got in this lane to make a U-turn. Yeah. Because I went up. Okay, so I, w I didn't end up turning while I was in this lane. I just went up and then I parked on the sidewalk because I was going to wait for them to come in between, come in one of these three lanes. So to I was like, up. okay, I'm going to, I'm going to wait, see if they come. And then we look back and then sure enough, they're making a U-turn. Yeah. <laughs> so we were like, ah, they're scary. You're we scared. We really got problems. <laughs> okay, honestly, yeah, we do got That's problems. That's a problem. <laughs> but also, like, bro, I really believe this. Like, say that yeah. with your Most chest definitely. Definitely. if you're gonna be racist if you're gonna flip somebody off if you're gonna da, 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 own that and do it to somebody's face don't do it while you're behind your mom's freaking blue bmw because i know that ain't your car don't do that while you're inside the car come pull up next to us so i can get my bat out of the back seat no i'm just kidding and but i'm also glad that julia wasn't in the car uh because a little bit after that probably about like two hours after that after i calmed down i told Devonte, i was like you know what i shouldn't have acted that way yeah, and we kind of yeah. both came, came to our senses and I was like, I'm sorry. Well, I don't think I told you I'm sorry, but I was sorry for myself because I was like, I shouldn't have acted that way. I shouldn't be giving these people face. Like, um, yeah. a, a conversation definitely needs to be had. So like if somebody comes up to the car and they're like, oh, I believe all lives matter. Let's, well, have, a let's have a conversation yeah, let's about have it. A conversation. You know what I'm saying? But Rather than saying all lives matter, being disrespectful and flipping the car off. Like if you yeah. want to have a conversation, say it with your chest. Have a conversation and be simple yeah. about it, plain and but, simple. But, you know, me stepping out of the car and da da da, I feel like that's sending the wrong message and I was wrong for that. I just got so frustrated though. Yeah. And I don't know, that was wrong. But again, I shouldn't have gave them face. So I know for future references, I'm Most going definitely. to try my hardest. Because um, we, we, we live in the Clovis area. So we're going to experience that more. But I'm going to try my hardest to keep my cool, keep, keep my calm. And just, if somebody does something ignorant, just, Anissa, let go and let God. Let go yeah. and let God handle them. Because he will. <laughs> he will. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so after that, there was these, you know, two, these brothers, you know, they're older <laughs> brothers. They were behind us. I seen them taking pictures and I was like, oh, they're taking pictures of the car. So I rolled the window down and I was like that. And then um, the, the driver seat, the driver person, he was like, he was like that. And then the, um, I, tr I changed into my right lane. They came up on the side of us. And then the uh, the, ind the individual in the passenger seat, he was like, like, I love your message. I love what you have on your car. And I was like, thank you. I really appreciate that. And like, it just. And what were they driving? Oh, they're driving a Tesla Model X. A black Tesla Model X. A yeah. black Tesla Model X. It was so nice. And I just told Devontae, I was like, how, how, like, isn't that beautiful though? Like for us to see these dumb little boys like flipping off our car, blah, blah, blah. 
and then like support. minutes later yeah. you know what I'm saying they pull up next to us and they're hella happy about seeing it and da, da, da. and I'm like bro like the, I literally told my tail I was like is that not like yeah. that's God dude that is God every time literally. we're driving and we see we hear people like honk at our car we kind of just smile but um, we just wanted to share those stories with you guys we are gonna pick back up on regular vlogging and everything like that we tried to do yesterday yeah. but then I got too emotional um, but we're gonna pick back up um, we still obviously just want to continue to spread the message that black lives do yeah, matter and down below again will still be all the petitions all the places you guys can donate to um, and everything like that links will always be down there for as long as you know all these protests and stuff are going on but I've seen some TikToks of people saying and I truly do agree with it because it does need more light um, once all this is done and uh, this problem will never be done this problem will never be settled there will always be problems once it starts you know getting down and once you know the black community starts getting what they need want and deserve we're gonna start focusing on you know all of the problems with ice and stuff like that and you know getting more knowledge in regards to that since all this is, has been happening we've been getting more and more knowledge in regards to you know the issues we, at hand and we have been learning so much you guys like you can't argue with someone without spitting facts or statistics and stuff like that and i feel like if you're gonna support the black lives movement you don't technically need to know, you know, facts and statistics to understand but the problems But you do need to world. educate yourself. But, yeah, you do need to be educated if you're going to try to spit those facts and argue with an individual that's going against what your message yeah. is trying to be. And I think that for me and Devante, because we are influencers and we do have a, a big platform, I feel like it's so important for us to be educated on things like this. Exactly. Um, that way we can continue to push the message. Um, for people who don't have such a big yeah. platform or whatever it is. But with all of that being said, we hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. If you guys are out there protesting still, please be safe. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Yeah, with all that being said, we really hope you guys enjoyed today's little like story time, I guess you can say. Um, and just please, please, please be safe out there. If you guys are doing something like I'm doing with the car, there is such high risk, especially with the, you know, the evil in this world. Just please. Yeah you know, be safe. And with all that being said, you guys, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, hit the little bell icon down below to get notified every single time we what? Video. Are you taking pictures on my phone? Oh, I thought she was watching cartoons this entire time. <laughs> this is, you guys. And so for those of you who are new to this channel, at least relatively new, my name's Devante. My name's Denicia. Her, Her name's, name's Juliet. Juliet. His, His name's, name's Sire. And, and this, this is, is The Life of Us Vlogs. Where every day is more.